Thank you Stride PR and Shiro Unlimited for providing me with a free copy of War Tales for review. Leave a like and subscribe if you find this helpful. Now in this review, I'm covering the co-op experience of War Tales on the Xbox Series X. When playing War Tales, you will have one game mode and that is the freeform adventure mode that can be played either solo or co-op with up to four players online with cross-play support between PC and Xbox. There is no matchmaking, so you can't play with randoms, and there does not seem to be in-game voice chat, so keep that in mind. When starting the freeform adventure mode, you will choose from a few backstories for your group. These backstories will then determine your group's stats and what characters your group can choose from, so you will not have the option to create any character you want when starting out. After choosing from some difficulty options and assigning your characters to your teammates, you are then spawned into a top-down map where you are free to explore and make your own adventure. Unlike most games, there is no story during your adventure. Instead, you will travel around, find quests, and complete them, making your own story. This will push your group into certain sections of the large map where you will encounter several enemies, NPCs, loot, and opportunities to structure your characters however you want. Players will be limited on how far they can explore away from the group, so keep that in mind. If in combat with an enemy, it will be turn-based, but players can take their turn in any order they want. If your team dies, you will revert to the last save where your team was alive, so save often if your difficulty mode allows it. NPCs offer dialogue and voice acting. Dialogue choices will often result in a quest. Loot can be found most places, such as vendors, dead bodies, and boxes scattered around the map. These loot items can then be applied to any character of your choosing. All loot is shared, so you will need to communicate with your teammates when receiving an item. This does include gold, so be sure your team agrees on a purchase. While exploring the map, you will come across several opportunities that will ask you if you want your character to take on a certain role, such as a thief, blacksmith, and so on. And that's all that this game has to offer. Now for my experience, I'd have to say the co-op was enjoyable. If your friend group is looking for something where everyone's involved and has some depth to it, this is easily a game you should get. Everyone's actions matter, and if you aren't working as a team, you would not succeed. Everyone felt included during my gaming session, and we were often talking about what we want to do next and how we should go about making our story. It's odd not having a big narrative, but being able to freely adventure made it feel like we were actual mercenaries just trying to make a living, which is something you can't really find in any other game. The mechanics of the game can be a little overwhelming, and the game does a poor job at explaining what to do, but as a group, this becomes easier to understand. The top-down view is a bit hard to see, and combat can feel a little repetitive. If you do pick this up, I feel it's better to play in shorter sessions to avoid burnout. So with all that being said, I'd have to give the co-op experience of War Tales, 8 Pepperonis, out of 10. War Tales offers a very unique co-op experience that all co-op fans should definitely check out. And that'll do it for this review. Comment below if you have any questions and I will try to help.